just want to bring you, he said that Spurs had teased an imminent signing. In the last few seconds, they have just tweeted this, saying we are delighted to announce the signing of Mickey van der Ven from Wolfsburg. Spurs is a beautiful club. It's an amazing club. It's a top club in the Premier League. And that's all the things I know every time when I see a player sign for, for Spurs. <laughs> Mickey van der Ven, the Netherlands nightmare, the warrior of Wolfsburg, and now the titan of Tottenham Hotspur. He's been compared to the Rolls Royce of defenders in the Premier League. His dramatic rise for the North London club has been outstanding. So today I will be revealing the scary truth about Mickey van der Ven nobody is talking about. So this video was spurred on from comments that were made by former Liverpool and former Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Jamie Redknapp, who is obviously the son of former Tottenham manager as well, Harry Redknapp. And he said this on Super Sunday after Mickey van der Ven's man of the match performance against Nottingham Forest, which I was at and enjoyed. You know, the Mickey van der Ven chant was rocking around the stadium. He got the man of the match. He got an absolutely blistering goal, but without further ado, this is what Jamie Redknapp had to say about our world-class defender. Yeah, he's a Rolls-Royce. He's got tremendous pace, makes the game look easy, defends well. There was a couple of times where he ran into the space to cover, especially with the way that Spurs play with the fullbacks coming in, inverting. You need to be athletic. You need to be able to run into areas, and he's got that speed that not many possess. And he can also play as well. And alongside Romero, they're forming a formidable partnership. And you might have noticed that before I you know, teed up that video, I called him a world-class defender. And you might be saying, if you're not a Tottenham fan per se, well, Sonny, is he in fact a world-class defender? And today, that's what I'm basically arguing. You know, he is already 23 years of age and is pivotal to this Tottenham Hotspur side. We know that this side, the Angeball side, the Tottenham Hotspur side, love to play with that high line. And because of a player like Mickey van der Ven, we are able to you know, really park that high line up the pitch and defend how we do. Even at the game, at the Nottingham Forest game, there were so many scenarios where Forest are just pinging balls over the top of our defence and Mickey van der Ven is always there to mop it up. He's strong, he's quick, he's been the quickest player in the Premier League this season. So, it's, you know, I don't, I'm arguing a point that I feel like makes perfect sense. He is that good of a player. And you know, another part of this video that I'm attacking as well is the fact that, you know, at 23 years of age, he's been putting performances in that not many defenders of his age are usually doing. I mean, other comparisons that Jamie Redknapp draws on is the likes of William Saliba, who's been incredible for Arsenal, but you could compare them and say individually as defenders, they've been fantastic. But you could also say as a defensive unit, Arsenal have been better than Tottenham. That's obvious to say. They've probably been the strongest defence in the Premier League this season, where Mickey van der Ven individually has been, you know, the best defender at Tottenham Hotspur. I mean, the Dogie's been good, but in an attacking sense, so has Pedro Porro. But Tottenham do leak the old goal. <laughs> we really keep a clean sheet. And also, comparing to the likes of Josko Gavardial, Josko Gavardial was a record defensive transfer. And Mickey van der Ven was picked up for about 50 million euros, it might end up being, which was an absolute bargain. He actually wasn't Tottenham's first choice as well. We were really going in on Edmund Tapsoba, but I, back in the beginning of the season, when we were being linked with defenders, always wanted to go for Mickey van der Ven. I knew of his versatility, his pace, and the fact he can, you know, he can slot in at left back, and he's just an all-round better defender. I mean, don't get me wrong, Tapsoba is a good fit, but we needed a left footer and Mickey van der Ven fits that whole package. But I've also compared him to Virgil van Dijk in the thumbnail, you might have noticed, you know, nice little cheeky design that I've done there. Because, you know, I might have compared their ages, you know, van Dijk is on a resurgence again this season, been absolutely fantastic, and back to his best form. People call van Dijk one of the best defenders in Premier League history, next to the likes of John Terry, Rio Ferdinand, Nemanja Vidic to name but a few. But, at the same ages, Virgil van Dijk wasn't at the similar level. And, you know, they are obviously going to be compared as well because they both are Dutch centre-backs, but they came from niche Dutch clubs as well. Volendam for Mickey van der Ven and also with Virgil van Dijk, most notably, Groningen. But, as I said, at similar ages, 
they're at different trajectories. Mickey van der Ven is already, you know, looking like he's at a peak of his power as a defender at 23 years of old. Van Dijk is now 32, as I say, back to his best. But at a similar age, you know, Van Dijk was, you know, finding his feet at Celtic and then moved to Southampton. You know, he wasn't the best at Southampton. There were instances where I remember he got skinned by Harry Kane a few times. And, you know, he showed that a bit recently, like especially last season. But... You know, it took him that move to Liverpool and a coach like Jurgen Klopp at the age of 26, I believe, was when he joined them for 75 million, which was a record at the time as well. But Mickey van der Ven under Ange Postacoglu is already developing into that sort of player already earlier on in his career. People are touting Mickey van der Ven now to be an 80 plus, maybe even a 100 million pound centre back, which sounds wild when you say it out loud. But that's the scary truth about Mickey van der Ven. He is already performing at this level. But on the flip side, before I get into this, I am going to say about his stats. You know, his stats are incredible. You look at his FB rev, he is really outperforming a lot of centre-backs in the sense of he's so good at passing. He's obviously really good at driving the ball forward as well. But the problem is, he is so good that when he's not in the Tottenham side, there is a massive difference. You know, Radu Dragerson came in against Fulham and, you know, was finding his feet, but, you know, sort of couldn't adjust. He's not a left-footed centre-back. Mickey van der Ven is just, you know, which is ironic. You know, we were looking so long for a left-sided centre-back, and we finally got him, and he's now pivotal. But when we do lose him, it can be a bit of a nightmare. And knows he's got a good player on his hands. You know, part of our, you know, remit of rebuilding this squad and finding good talent from around Europe, it's happened in this position. But the issue we have is... He is so good, and when he is injured, because he is looking a bit injury-prone from the injury he sustained in the Chelsea game, it is a bit worrying. But we've got to stay positive. You know, he scored two goals already in the Premier League season, one from a corner against Luton, and the other, that pile drive against Nottingham Forest, which was absolutely spectacular. But yeah, I just believe that we have got such a good player on our hands. We've got to sign him up. We've got to make sure, give him whatever he wants, get the paper, I'm going full Rio Ferdinand here, let him put whatever he wants on it, and all that sort of stuff. He is that good. I love him to bits. What a player we have in Mickey van der Ven. And he can rival the likes of Saliba, Gavardio, all of the Europe's best centre-backs, Virgil van Dijk. I think he can become so, so good, and he's just already become a bit of a Tottenham hero. As I said, they're doing the chant. Rafa van der Vaart is jealous of the chant. It was his chant, the Dutchman, but now it seems to have passed the goal and it has gone over to Mickey van der Ven. But yeah, that's my truth about Mickey van der Ven. VDV, as I also, or we also like to call him. But let me know, how highly do you rate van der Ven? How pivotal is he to this Tottenham team? And do you get a bit worried when you see him go down? Like, if we don't have him, are you a worried Spurs fan? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this, why don't you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm on 3,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful for that. You know, if you're new around here, we're on the road to 5K by the end of the year. I'd love you to join me on this Tottenham Hotspur journey. Notification bell lets you know when I've gone live after games as well. And also, link in the description down below. There, you can become a member of Sunny Talk Spurs. Get exclusive access to my my podcast nice one sunny for 99p a month i haven't done one this week i'm sorry about that there's going to be one next week don't worry about that but yeah until next time my next video will be a reaction to the newcastle game on sunday i believe because i'm out during the day after the game so yeah i'll see you guys then ciao